It is game week, guys. The first Monday before the Jaguars' first regular season game. So we're going to do today is we're going to go through and look at all the Jaguars games this season and we're going to predict some wins and losses and uh, we're going to just give some overall analysis of how this schedule looks. And of course, guys, this this video is brought to you by and powered by BetUS and we're going to get into a little bit of a we're going to put a little bit of money down on one of these games during this video. So um, go ahead and predict. You guys probably know which game we're going to put down on. But without further ado, we're going to go through this. OK. Now, before we actually get into the Jaguars, you know, every single game, let's go ahead and preview the schedule a little bit. Okay, so the Jaguars have seven games in Everbank Stadium. They have eight away games and two games in London is how that is how that schedule currently shakes out. You know, one home game, one home game, one away game in London. Um, so that's how that looks. The Jaguars play the entire AFC East, and the Jaguars also play the entire NFC North. AFC East is definitely going to be tough. You have three teams that could very well win the AFC East. And, you know, you could even have three playoff teams in that division. And then you kind of have the Patriots that are just kind of hanging around. The NFC North, um, it's, it's you know, the Lions pretty tough. The Packers also went to the playoffs last season. And they also have, you don't know what the Bears are. And, you know, it maybe feels like the, the Vikings may not be pretty good. The Jaguars also play a second place schedule. So that basically gives them the Raiders, Browns, and Eagles. If you want to compare this to a first-place schedule, the Texans are going to have to play the Chiefs. They're going to have to play the Ravens, and they're going to have to play the Cowboys. So I think this second-place schedule definitely benefits us in this area. Also, the Jaguars have two primetime games. Um, the Jaguars, man, it took them forever to get a Sunday night game and a Monday night game, and they finally got it last year. And this is the Trevor Lawrence effect, okay? The Jaguars did not make the playoffs last year, but they still get a Monday and a Sunday nighter. So week three, very, very early in the year, we're going to be going to Buffalo and playing the Bills on Monday Night Football. And then week nine, we're going to play the Eagles on Sunday Night Football. So some exciting stuff there. Now, if you look at the records of these teams in 2023, 154 and 135. Okay, that's a 53.3% win percentage if you combine the records of the teams that we are going to be playing. And the Jaguars are also playing eight games versus playoff teams. So, you know, one thing about this, it's not like, you know, the Jaguars, of course, play a lot of good teams. But the, I think the thing when I look early at this schedule, the Jaguars aren't playing that many, like, bad teams. You know what I mean? They play the only really, really bad team I really see on the on the schedule is, like, the Patriots. Other than that, like, the next, you know, the next group of teams goes from 4-13 and 13 to 7-10, and 10, okay? which includes like the Jets, it includes the Vikings, and it includes the Bears. And, you know, we definitely expect the, the Bears and Jets to be a lot better. So definitely no easy, easy schedule. But if we want to make the, the playoffs and we want to win a Super Bowl, you got to beat good teams, okay? That's just how the, how the dice rolls. So I'm going to divide this up into, into four quarters, okay? That's kind of how I look at the schedule because I look at it, when, when we're do looking at this from a macro view, I don't look at it, at it as much from game to game. I look at it a lot more from like quarter to quarter, okay? So the first quarter, week one. At Miami Dolphins, week two at home versus the Cleveland Browns, week three at the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football, and week four, we play the Houston Texans at home. Um, this is by far the toughest stretch that we have. Um, these teams in 2023 combined to go 43 and 25. Okay, that's a 63.2% win percentage, and all these teams were playoff teams, okay? I think it's really, really, it really stinks, I think, that we drew the Miami Dolphins week one just because they, I think, play, Miami Dolphins are, like, usually the best team in September, okay? They have all their speed. They're not injured. They, like, Mike McDaniel is just, is notorious for being very good in September, and then usually during, like, December and January, the wheels fall off of that team. So we play them very early. They're going to be healthy. So that's going to be a really, really tough one for us in six days. Um, the Jaguars also play the Cleveland Browns at home. You know, we finally get to see Deshaun Watson, right? Uh, I feel like, you know, Deshaun got traded there forever ago, and we've seen, like, nothing of him. Okay, it seems like whenever they're on primetime football, it's, like, not Deshaun Watson playing. It's, you know, whether it's Joe Flacco or whatever other quarterback they have filling in for him. But it's kind of put-up-or-shut-up time for Deshaun Watson. So we'll see 
what they have. But overall, the Browns are a good team. I mean, they they're they're like your classic, you know, '90s, 2000s team. I mean, they play. They have a really good run game. They have a good defense as well. Probably the best defensive lineman in the game with a Miles Garrett. So that's one that's going to be very, very tough. But I don't think they will have Nick Chubb in week two. So, you know, that will, I guess, benefit the Jaguars a little bit. The Jaguars almost beat them in Cleveland last year with, you know, during the Jaguars' downfall and when Trevor Lawrence just wasn't playing his best football. So that won't be interesting. Uh, week three against the Buffalo Bills, Monday Night Football. I mean, the Jaguars have the Bills number, it seems like. You know, the Jaguar, of course, you know, I have in the graphic, I have Josh Allen in the graphic, Josh Hines Allen now versus Josh Allen. And, you know, Josh Allen, Josh Hines Allen is 2-0 and against him. And also Trevor Lawrence is 2-0 and against Josh Allen. But the big difference here is that, you know, when they beat them, it's usually in Jacksonville. And last year, they beat them in London. I remember all the Bills fans crying about, why do we have to play this game in London? It's like, look, it, it just happened. No more excuses. It was y'all's fault. You guys decided to fly into London on the Friday before the game, okay? Don't don't give us the excuse, excuse about jet lag. But nevertheless, this game will actually be in Buffalo. Monday Night Football, I don't think anybody's going to say that this is an easy environment. And then week four, the Jaguars host the Houston Texans. The Jaguars, um, this will be a big one. The Jaguars have not defeated the Texans in Jacksonville since 2017. Have quite the losing streak there. But the Jaguars will be ready. I think last year when the Jaguars played them week three at home, the Texans were 0-2. Um, the Jaguars, I think, put a lot of focus into that Chiefs game the week prior. And I think the Jaguars were just snoozing. And honestly, the Jaguars made a lot of mistakes that, day, that game. If you like, if you actually do get bored and want to re rewatch that game, because I actually did last year before the Jaguars played the Texans again, you know, in Houston, it was crazy to see the amount of times that the Jaguars just handed them the game. I mean, you know, the bad fumbles, you know, a bad interception, the Jaguars missing a, a kick, the Jaguars getting a kick blocked, the kick return. I mean, it was it was crazy everything that worked against the Jaguars that game. So that one will be a tough one. And for me, if I'm looking at this, I'm happy coming out of here two and two. Okay, I'm happy to come out of this stretch two and two. I will take that right now. Um, the Jaguars, you know, obviously the games that you'd want, you definitely want to beat your teams in a division. So you want that Houston Texans game. You'd love to beat the Buffalo Bills, you know, on Monday Night Football because all eyes will obviously be watching you very early in the year. It's very surprising to me that the Jaguars got a week three Monday Night Football game. I mean, this is unprecedented times for me. Okay, so that one will be really, really fun. But yeah, really tough stretch for playoff teams. Really, really tough draw for the Jaguars. So I'm going to say the Jaguars go two and two in this first quarter. Now, the second quarter, the Jaguars week five versus the Indianapolis Colts, week six versus the Chicago Bears, and week seven versus the New England Patriots. Both of these games are in London, so advantage Jaguars maybe, and then week eight against the Green Bay Packers. Now, the 2023 records of this team, 29 and 39, so this is a 42.6% win percentage, so only one playoff team in this mix. So... Week five against the Indianapolis Colts. Look, I'm going to highlight this one, okay? Because the Jaguars are featuring their throwback uniforms this game. You see the Josh Hines Allen graphic over to the right. The Jaguars will be bringing back the throwbacks for the first time ever. And that's one plus. And also, the Jaguars have not lost to the Indianapolis Colts since 2014. And by the way, guys, in case you didn't know, on BetUS, there's actually futures on every single NFL game and every single game on the Jaguars schedule. So you can go get an early look. And I went ahead and looked at that week five game against the Indianapolis Colts. The Jaguars are two and a half point favorites, okay? I'm putting $20 down on that one because the Jaguars just straight up do not lose to the Colts and Trevor Lawrence always tears apart the Colts defense. So give me that bet all day. And if you guys want to do that as well, BetUS is going to offer you guys a 125% deposit bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000. They got 24-7 customer support, quick 24-hour payouts, and also a 10% gambler's insurance. If you guys are losing money and you guys want to get a little bit back, they are going to recoup you. So, you know, with that said, BetUS, the number one sports book in the industry and our favorite sports book in the industry. Um, if you guys are interested in checking that out, I have them for you guys in the description as well as the pinned comment. 
So week five against the Indianapolis Colts, like I said, the Jaguars just always beat the Colts. So that one is a good one. And it's a great time to, you know, it's kind of the homecoming game for the Jaguars, bringing back the, bringing back the Prowler uniforms. And then week six at the Chicago Bears. Um, I, I shouldn't say at, but, you know, in London. The, the, the Bears, you know, last year they weren't great, 7-10, and 10, but they're expected to be a lot better. I mean, Caleb Williams looks to be a pretty good quarterback, and also the they have probably the best wide receiving core in the league uh, with Roma Dunze. They got DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. So this should be a much, much improved team. I mean, they could very well be like, the 2022 Jaguars, okay? Not very good in the year prior, but then explodes for a playoff spot. So they could very well be competing for an NFC North title. So that will be no hard battle, but I glad, I'm happy that we kind of played them a little bit early. Look, the first four weeks, let Caleb Williams go out there, let him show some game tape, let him show some of his weaknesses and the Jaguars and Ryan Nielsen's defense. He can make, he can make the rookie's life pretty tough. Week 7 against New England Patriots. This one should easily be a win for the Jaguars. The Patriots are just not looking very good. Bill Belichick did not do very good things with that roster. It was in a bad spot. So um, the Jaguars, they're, they're very much in rebuilding mode. So the Jaguars, I have been in New England Patriots. And then the hardest game in this stretch, Week 8 against the Green Bay Packers. Um, Jordan Love uh, is now the third, you know, another quarterback in this whole Green Bay Packers like quarterback mix, man. It, it's crazy just the way this team drafts, reloads, and, you know, lets these guys not play in redshirt, and they just turn out to be good quarterbacks. And Jordan Love just got himself a contract. So this one will be a tough game at home, but I will say. We'll, we'll correct the, yeah, I, I mentioned the 2023 records. The, the only playoff team in here was the Green Bay Packers and 42.6% win percentage. But I had the Jaguars winning all four games. I had the Jaguars going 4-0 in this stretch. And I know it's funny. I was going back and I was trying to do like an analysis of Doug Peterson's previous two years and kind of what his trends are. And it's funny. It's actually kind of like flipped the way, like in 2022, the Jaguars were starting off, you know, they went, they went two and one, and then they lost like four or five games in a row and kind of did the same and, and finished off the season hot. And then in 2023, it was like flipped. The Jaguars started one and two, then won like five games in a row, then had a downfall at the end of the season. So this stretch in 2022, the Jaguars went 0 and 4. This stretch in 2023, the Jaguars went 4 0. So I think that the trend continues with 2023, and the Jaguars go 4 0 down this stretch. So next up, the third quarter of the season, the Jaguars start off week nine in Philadelphia against the Eagles on Thursday on Sunday night football. Jaguars actually don't have a Thursday night football game this year. Uh, week 10 at home versus the Minnesota Vikings. Week 11 at the Detroit Lions. Uh, week 12, they had their bye week. And then week 13 versus the Houston Texans. So if you look at the 2023 records, 40 and 28, so 58.8% win percentage. The Jaguars playing three playoff teams in this stretch. So, yeah, this is another really hard stretch for the Jaguars. Man, like, I don't know how you can project the Jaguars to win on Sunday night football, like, in Philadelphia. I mean, the Jaguars playing two of the toughest places um, an NFL team can play a primetime game. And, you know, of course, this one gets highlighted, like my pitcher on the right, Doug Peterson coming back home um, where he won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. And, you know, last time they played – Doug Peterson got a standing ovation, so that was pretty cool. Um, but this one will be tough. I probably had the Jaguars losing this one. Week 10 against the Minnesota Vikings. Minnesota is not looking very good. You know, their quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, just got injured, put on the shelf for a year. So right now, Sam Darnold is a projected starter. And, you know, one interesting thing about this game, guys, is that the Jaguars actually had the Minnesota Vikings third-round pick. That was the draft capital they got when they moved back six spots and still got Brian Thomas Jr., so it's kind of a good thing that the Vikings are not looking very good because the Jaguars could very well have like a top three or four or five pick in the third round of that draft. So that's really, really cool to see. Um, but yeah, that one should be a win for the Jaguars. The Jaguars are featuring that white helmet this game. So that should be fun. Um, week 11, the Jaguars play in Detroit against the Lions. That one was a hard one. The Jaguars got destroyed there when they played in 2022. You know, that was like one of the few losses when the Jaguars were in that hot streak. They got a late bye in the season, week 12. And then at home versus the Houston Texans. So, 
Yeah, man. Three playoff teams, 58.8% win percentage. I have the Jaguars going two and two down this stretch. Definitely beating the Vikings and picking up another win in here. Hopefully against the Texans, but I have the Jaguars going two and two down this stretch. Now to end it, the fourth quarter of the season, the last quarter, uh, week 14 at the Titans, week 15 at home versus the New York Jets, week 16 at the Las Vegas Raiders, week 17 at home versus the Tennessee Titans, and then week 18 at the Indianapolis Colts. So the Jaguars, these teams are 42 and 43. 49.4% win percentage and zero playoff teams. So this is a good stretch for the Jaguars to end off. Um, I don't know why the Jaguars are always playing the Tennessee Titans so late. Like the last three years, they haven't played until the, I mean, we don't play them until week 14 this year. Um, That's so late. And like, it's been the same trend the last two years. I don't know why schedule makers are putting them so late in our schedule, but I'd like to switch it up a little bit, but yeah, the Jaguars play at the Titans, and I'm glad that game isn't a Week 18 because that place is just... I just can't wait till the new stadium is built. Okay, I'm, I'm very, very tired of playing in Tennessee. Um, so that one's there. Week 15 against the New York Jets. Um, that one, we'll see how the Jets do. This is probably a pretty good time to play the Jets because the Jets always start off pretty good and then in, in a pretty bad situation. They're finally looking a little bit better this year. I mean, is Aaron Rodgers play a whole year? They actually have a decent offensive line now. But it's hard to really say that they're good until they actually become good, right? Um, Week 16 at the Las Vegas Raiders. Right now, Minshew is a projected quarterback. So that should be pretty fun. We'll see how the Jaguars um, do against the Minshew. Um, But that one's in Raiders, of course, a part of our second place schedule. Thank God this isn't an arrowhead against the Chiefs because if the Jaguars finish first, I mean, I wish it was an arrowhead against the Chiefs because that would mean that the Jaguars finished first in the AC South. But it is not like that. So that one um, is in Las Vegas. The Jaguars at home play the Tennessee Titans in week 17. And the Jaguars finish in Indy against the Indianapolis Colts. So in this stretch of games, I have the Jaguars going 4-1. and one. I think that the Jaguars will drop one of these division games, um, whether it be one of the Tennessee Titans games or one of the Indianapolis Colts games. But I, I do like that this is the way the Jaguars end the season because um, it's just playing against... Not as good teams. And, and the Titans, I think the Titans will be better than many people expect. You know, right now, the Bet US has, the, has their over-under at six and a half wins. I think that the Titans get about eight wins. So I think that they're better than um, a lot of people and the betting sites are per- perceiving. But that's where I have them finishing. And then when we look at the final results of everything, Jaguars record. I have the Jaguars going 12-5. and five. I have the Jaguars as ASC South champions. I think that... Um, the, I just feel like right now, Texans are a good team, but I feel like they're so full of themselves right now. And th- they do have some question marks. Okay. They do have some question marks, uh, mainly in the secondary, I think. And I don't think their offensive offensive line is that great either. I just think that they need a little bit of a slice of humble pie and I, the Jaguars get in number three seed. So we'll see. We'll see what the Jaguars do. Let me know if you guys like this presentation I had. You guys all, when I did the roster breakdown, you guys like the um, my 53-man roster setup, so I figured I'd get another PowerPoint for you guys. It is nice to kind of see things visually. But, you know, with all that said, let me know what you guys think. I want to hear your guys' record prediction down below. It's just such a fun time of year. I really can't wait to get this, this year going and get these live reactions back on, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So... Thank you guys all so much for joining. On your way out, guys, please do me a favor and drop a like. I'm really trying to get to 20,000 subscribers this football season, so please help me out in doing so. And also, guys, shout out to BetUS. Like I said earlier, 125% deposit bonus down below. They're really helping me um, put out all this content with the with the kind of support that they're giving me. So, you know, supporting the sponsors is a great way to support this channel. And with all that said, you guys enjoy your Labor Day weekend. And I'll catch you guys next time. Go Jags.